humble and a sincere apology um, for being exceptionally scruffy this afternoon. I have tried to throw this shirt away three times and not throw it away, just use it for an oil rag or something similar, or wipe down cloth for the vehicles. And I keep putting it aside and then forgetting, and it keeps making its way back into my cupboard. And I completely, completely forgot until I got to camp that I was wearing a hole, a, a shirt with a giant hole in the shoulder, which is now even bigger, because I, I put my finger in it to gently tug it and it ripped even further, and now I feel awful. So I'm very sorry about that. It's not that I don't have shirts without holes in them. I promise I'm not destitute. Um, yes, I just, uh, I just wasn't paying attention to when I got dressed. So, Pouty Gorilla, you say I should come up with a, a thrilling tale as to how I got the rip in my shirt. Funny story that, James and I were joking around earlier with somebody who came to the camp to visit, and James looked at me and said, Jamie, did Shungila, did Shungila attack you? So I said, yes, but then she decided that the Daker was far less intimidating than myself. And this person is looking at, with, looking at us with open mouth shock and went, really? James and I looked at each other and went, no. So no, I have not been attacked by Shungile. I was going to try and tell you a thrilling tale of, you know what? Actually, the real story is better. The real story's better because this shirt was one of my original, original guiding shirts. So its story is stories. And it's hours and days, and Dave can't walk through there, hours and days uh, spent in the sun, working, sweating, sun cream, thrown into the washing machine, Jamie's incorrigible ability to leave her washing on the line for three days at a time, even though it's completely bone dry. It's seen rhino, it's been hooked in thorns, it's been charged. The shirt is a story to tell. I think that's even better than making up a, a story about being attacked by something. Rather than blaming something innocent, I'll blame the joy of life and probably attempt to put it myself in a position where I don't ever use the shirt again. There you go. Voila. <laughs> And that is done. I will never make that mistake again. I will not go out in my holy shirt. <laughs> and just pull my shirt sleeve off. I think I've lost my mind, Dave. Maybe. Maybe. And I'll take a feather to put in my hat. <laughs>